This is Art Television. Coming up, State of Business, sponsored by QHD Quality Video Streaming Samaga. Internet like a boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. Star, star, see you out. IWS Aviation. A very good evening and a warm welcome to State of Business on Art Television. I'm Hashai Nali and let's have a look at the headlines first. The eight MOUs signed yesterday will boost investment, Sri Lanka Tourism says. Gulf Port will become a regional commercial and leisure hub, Port Minister says. News in detail. Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority yesterday signed eight MOUs with related state agencies in an effort to ease the approval process and boost investments through a single application system. The Digital Investment Case Management System platform will be operational by March and involve a three-step process, according to Damika Vijay Singer, Director General of the SLTDA. Bloated bureaucracy has been identified as a major hindrance to the development of the tourism industry. Tourism Minister Prasanna Rantunga says that in the past two years, only 59 projects worth 300 million US dollars were approved out of 99 applications worth over 1 billion US dollars. As tourism is a key sector in the plan for economic and forex recovery, the digital investment case management system is expected to enhance efficiency and transparency and to maximize the sector's contribution. While previous MOUs were signed with the BOI, Coast Conservation and the UDA, the current raft of MOUs was signed by the Irrigation, Forest Conservation, Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Archaeology, National Building Research Organization, Central Environmental Authority, Agrarian Development and the Department of Wildlife Conservation. Four more organizations are to be added to the group by the end of the year. Amongst them, they will be Colombo Municipal Council and the Civil Aviation Authority. The government announced yesterday that the Gulf port with an investment of 175 to 200 million US dollars will be developed as tourist port and leisure hub in South Asia. The four-year project is coordinated by the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. The organization will also help investors cut across bureaucracy as well as discuss tax breaks. The project is to be developed as a public-private partnership with local and foreign investors being facilitated expeditiously. The development will include two offshore breakwaters to calm in Gulf Bay and Harbour and the proposed construction of a state-of-the-art cruise terminal. It is hoped that development will attract hotels and other leisure-based activities to the city and generate many opportunities for employment. By promoting leisure activities such as reef exploration, water sports and scuba diving, along with Gulf's historic significance, the government expects the project to attract close to 7 million tourists. In order to ensure the continued survival of marine life in the port area, an environmental impact assessment will be followed closely while breakwater construction and land reclamation occurs. The land reclamation project is expected to add 40 hectares to the city of Gaul. Minister of Ports and Shipping Rohita Abegunavardhana said yesterday the Gaul port will be developed as a regional commercial port focused on tourism. Minister Abhigunavardhana made these comments during the Gulf Port Development Symposium and added that it will attract fresh private sector investment. Evagema Gal Puravare, Sancharak Puravarak, Evagema Gal Kotua, Tamat Mamanaram, Alankar Stanyak, Tingenisa Bibalapur Tune, Me Galu Varaya, Sancharaka Varaya, Kadir Vadidukara, Yanutama, the Davasedi, Deshi Saha, Videsi. आयोजने Columba, Varaya, Nagareha, Samano, Galu Puravare, Paujulik Ayojaka and Wissing, a Sanchar Shetre Adal, Sapusankin, Hotel, Evagema Nimasa, Messiala, Etulin Triatmakara, 
එවගේම ගාල්ලවර ඉතිහාසයේ ඉඳලම යොට් මරිනායක අක්කට යොට් දාවල යාත්‍රා පැමිණෙන වරායක් බවට පත් වුණා ඉතින් මේක වැඩි දියුණු කරන්න අපි කටයුතු කරා ඉතින් මේක ආයෝජකයන්ට අපි ආරාධනා කරපු දවස මේක ඒ දවස අනුව අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා විශේෂයෙන්ම මේ ගාලු වරාය වැඩි දියුණු කරන්න Stay tuned for more news right after this commercial break. These are dreamers. They made their big dreams real using the same connected devices you and I are holding in our hands right now. So what is stopping you? No dream too big. Essel de Morbitel. Welcome back after the break. One of the latest research projects by the Asian Development Bank says that South Asian cities are rapidly urbanizing and are projected to grow by more than 300 million new residents between 2020 and 2040. ADB officials suggest that land pooling is a promising tool to rein in urban sprawl and reach equitable and inclusive outcomes for sustainable urban development. The case study shows that scarcity of land for urban infrastructure and development including housing, commercial, industrial and mixed use development is a critical issue in South Asian countries where rapid urbanization is projected to continue for the coming decades. South Asia's urban population is expected to grow by more than 300 million by 2040. Our neighbor India accounts for more than 85% of this projected growth across the region in terms of absolute urban population growth and urbanization. Researchers pointed out that four out of six countries in the region will exceed an urbanization rate of 45% by 2040. They also highlighted that if the current development trend of low density urban sprawl continues, significantly more land will be required to accommodate this population growth at a time when securing land through eminent domain tends to be expensive, contentious and displaces land owners. Thus South Asians need efficient forward looking tools for infrastructure and land development that can accommodate an optimum and livable density for sustainable urban development including housing commercial industrial and mixed use development They suggest that one such tool is land pooling which could be used as an alternative to eminent domain to secure land for urban expansion It is less costly and has positive social outcomes since it is voluntary in nature They stress that land pooling could be a promising tool to rein in urban sprawl and reach equitable and inclusive outcomes for sustainable urban development, but trust between stakeholders is a prerequisite to enable the governments to scale it up for land development and urban expansion. This research paper also suggests if land pooling can be scaled up in South Asia for sustainable urban development, it would increase social welfare, is financially sustainable and results in equitable and inclusive outcomes. The Minister of Health Kheria Ramakwala during meeting at the Health Ministry yesterday stated that the nation's health service is ready to handle the Omicron variant all the reports from the other countries are concerning. The minister further stated that in terms of administering the first and second vaccine doses Sri Lanka is within the first 5 in the world out of 194 and that the program completed one year on the 29th of January. ලමයි අලුත් ප්‍රබේදයත් සමග ලෝකයේ තියෙන සංඛ්‍යාලය ගැන බලපුවාම අපිට පෙළක් කළාට අපත්තම් කිසි තිගැස්සීමකට ලක් වෙනවා. ඒ කෙසේ වෙතත් අපේ විශ්වාසයක් තියෙනවා අපිට කවුරු මොන දේ කිව්වත් අපේ සෞඛ්‍ය ක්ෂේත්‍රයේ තාමත් ඕනෑම තත්ත්වයකට මූණ දෙන්න සූදානමින් සිටනවා කියන එක නම් බොහොම පැහැදිලිව කියන්නට ඕනේ. දුර්මන්ත යනවා වෙලක් කළාට තුන්වෙන එහෙම නැත්නම් මේ අලුත් ප්‍රබේදය विविध आकार निधिपत्तेश्वास्यवश्य जनवरी विशीन फलवेणि एन तबल मे वर्ष तोलम तामत्म सार्थकलश फलवेणि सदवि एन दिख लोकेख्यालेखन अनुगत्व फलवेणि रटवाल 
ඔබ රකවරණය ලබා දීමේ වැඩපිළිවෙල කැටියට අපි නම් කරන්න සූදානම් වෙනවා ජනතාවට රකවරණය ලබා දීමේ අරමුණ තමයි සෞඛ්‍ය අමාත්‍යාංශයේ මුක්ත එම නැත්නම් ප්‍රථම අපේ ඉලක්කය The Presidential Handicraft Awards Ceremony Shilpa Abhimani 2021 was held on the 25th of this month under the patronage of President Gotabaya Rajapaksha at the Sirimavo Bandaranaike Memorial Exhibition Center The annual ceremony aims to develop the traditional craft sector. Speaking at the event, State Minister Prasanna Ranavira commented that the government had risen to the challenge presented by the traditional craft community and established the infrastructure required for them become more profitable. ඒ තුල අදට අපි ලේකම්තුම කිව්ව වගේ මැටි කූ බහයක් අපිට අද ප්‍රවාහනය සහ කැනීම් සහ ප්‍රවාහනයට අපිට ප්‍රාදේශීය ලේකම්ට බලපත්‍රය ලබා දෙන්න හැකියාව ලැබුණා. धनुमुमार ඒ වගේම ඒකට අවශ්‍ය කරන අලිවිකරණය කරන්නට දේශීය සහ විදේශීය වෙළඳපොළ ජයග්‍රහණය කිරීම සඳහා අවශ්‍ය කරන ඒ පාසුකම් ටික අපි ඔවුන්ට සපෙලා දුන්නා අපි ඊකොමස් වගේ වෙබ්සයිට් ආරම්භ කළා ඒකට අවශ්‍ය කරන කඩ කඩතු කරා අපේ සභාපතිතුමා ජාතික ශිල්ප සභාවේ luxilpo.lk නමින් නව ඒ වෙබ්සයිට් ආරම්භ කළා ඒ ඔස්සේ ඔවුන් නිෂ්පාදනය කරන බාණ්ඩ I think 12 might work. Oh? Connect multiple devices simultaneously. Internet like a boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The Aussie share price index dropped 180.05 points to close at 12,885.70, and the S&P SL20 dropped 78.16 points to close at 4,400.18. The turnover was 7.5 billion rupees, and over 232 million shares were traded. Up next are forex rates. And that's all news for today. See you tomorrow with State of Business at the usual time. Until then, take care and good night. State of Business was sponsored by Multiple devices, Ekavara Connect Kalahaki. Internet like a boss. SLT Mobitel Fiber. Star, Star, Seattle. IWS Aviation.